Word of mouth marketing. As photographers, we all want more referrals, we all want more business, we all want our clients to be sharing the word about our businesses. But how do we increase word of mouth marketing in our businesses? Keep watching to find out. I'm Jamie from jamiedelainewatson.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. This video is in collaboration with Sarissa of Immerse Photography. So after you watch this video, hop on over to her channel to watch her video as well. Let's get started. Thanks, Jamie. My name is Sarissa. I'm the owner of Immerse Photography here in Ohio and the voice behind Sparkle Society, where I encourage, educate, and empower photographers to make informed decisions for their business. And today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about my proof prints and swag bags, because at the end of the day, if we make our clients feel amazing, they're gonna be so much more willing to be our brand evangelist and tell all of their friends about us. So here's the thing that you've gotta think about. When you have a client come to an ordering session, an IPS session, a lot of times they get to view their images and they have that emotional reaction. They pick out what they want, they pay for it, and then they frequently leave empty handed, which can be a really mixed feeling. You know, on one hand, they're very excited. And on the other hand, they're like, I just paid a lot of money and I have nothing in my hands to show for it. So how do we combat that and get them walking out our studio door or the coffee shop doors feeling really excited and good about spending all of that money? Well, one of the ways that I do this is with proof prints. After they see their images on the TV, I hand them this really cute stack of proof prints. Now, just a little disclaimer for families Family sessions and seniors where you have an under a hundred images, you can do this for a really decent cost, okay? But if you're doing wedding photography, you might not want to print them all and maybe only print the portraits of the bride and groom or maybe even the wedding party. So just a little side note depending upon your personal business. I hand them the images and we go through them. We sort them into their favorites, their least favorites, and we use those prints to help us order whatever products that our clients want. Now, at the end of that IPS session, I gift all of those proof prints to my clients. And I know some people do this and they charge their clients, but my goal is to shock and awe. My goal is to make them feel good. And so I'm not gonna charge them. I'm not gonna upsell them for these proof prints because at the end of the day, what am I gonna do with them, right? Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in a cute envelope, stuff it into a client swag bag where I have hair ties, custom pens, goodie bags full of all other kinds of little fun things. I put those proof prints right into that swag bag and hand it to my client. Client. So as they're walking out, I have them sometimes in tears, I get hugs and I have them say, thank you so much. They leave my studio feeling as though they have something tangible and they're excited about their prints because instead of leaving empty handed, they have everything. They have a little goodie bag in their hands that they can connect, bond with and love on until all the regular full size products arrive. And that my friends is how you make them feel good and get them talking about your business long after the session is over. The first idea comes down to exceptional experience and communication with the clients you do have. If we're talking word of mouth marketing, we need to have such an amazing experience for our clients that first of all, they want to and are motivated to share about their experience with us. So how do we do this? A few ways. Communication is key. Communication before you book the client, throughout the process of booking the client, um, before the wedding day, during the wedding day, after the wedding day, there's so many different touch points in a client's experience. And I found the way that makes me stand out the most in my industry, my local industry, is my uh, promptness with communication. So answer email inquiries as fast as you possibly can. Answer them personalized, answer them with complete detail. If they're getting married at a venue you've been to before, shot at before, link to a whole bunch of galleries or examples of that work. If you've never been to that venue, but say they're having um, more of like a rustic venue, link to examples of other rustic venues that you photographed at. Show that you've gone the extra distance in terms of personalizing that email reply. So that's just one way you can create an exceptional experience for your clients so they'll then be motivated to tell other people. The second way is through gifts. Gifts are an amazing, amazing way to remind people of your exceptional business so they want to share um, more about what you do with the people that they know. So what I do for client gifts, there now I want to kind of lay out a different way, a few different ways you could do this, depending on how um, many years you are into your business. Because what I'm about to say is that I budget about two hundred dollars for each client for gifts throughout the process. Now, if you're getting started. 
that seems like A, a lot of money, and B, a lot of work to put together this consistent client gift system. So I don't want you to become overwhelmed. Let's start really small. If you don't have any system for client gifts right now, what I want you to do is start writing um, a card, a personalized card to every single client who books you. Just say, thank you so much for booking me. Include what you're excited about. Just be genuine in the card. Mail that off to them as soon as you can. That'll be step number one. And if you can just do that consistently, great. That's your start of, I would say, a client appreciation system because it's not really a gift, it's just a card. And as your business grows, then you can think, what are some other gifts that I could give my client that reinforce my brand? So this just came to the top of my mind right now, but I'm not gonna give my clients a McDonald's gift card <laughs> that doesn't enforce my brand like whatsoever. So it has to be gifts that make sense with my brand. So some gift ideas right off the top of my head, you could have like a movie night gift package. You could have an iTunes gift card, you could have popcorn, you could have mugs, you could have a blanket, and you could provide that to the client so that they can watch a movie at home throughout their wedding planning process. You could have um, a gift card to your favorite restaurant um, in your city, and you could also have a coffee gift card, and you could plan like a date day for them that way. Anyway, you can personalize something. In my business, I send along two of my favorite books on marriage, as well as um, a client bridal guide. So it's a personalized magazine, walking them through every step of the process. Then I have a few other gifts that come to clients about three months into the process, and then a Christmas gift as well at the end of that wedding season. So start with your client gift system by writing down every single thing that you can think of that you'd possibly want to give to a bride and groom, and then you can narrow it down and start implementing it in your business. If you're loving these ideas, I know you'll love my PDF download all about 50 marketing ideas for your photography business. This is my totally free gift to you just for watching. So if you go to jamiedelainewatson.com slash 50 ideas, five zero ideas, the link will be in the description below. You can grab that for free and there's so many more ideas like this to spur on word of mouth marketing in your business. But my third idea for you is something that's been very successful for me in the past. If you have a WordPress blog or a website, you can download a plugin that allows you to have a Facebook like button or a Facebook share button on your blog post. After you post a couple's engagement session or wedding day, email them and let them know that if they get 100 shares or 100 comments or 100 likes, however you want to um, measure those metrics, they'll receive a product. So it could be a 16 by 20 inch print, um, like a mounted print, and if they get 100 comments by this date, make it attainable, but also don't make it stretch on like two months. So I would probably say in the next 10 days, then they receive this free print. What's awesome about this is almost every single client does win it, so that's a bonus for them because of course they get this amazing product that's probably worth about $150, but probably doesn't cost you more than about 50. And you will have that blog post shared or commented on 100 times. So not only is that great for your search engine optimization, it's also hopefully going to be all over Facebook and encourage people to share their posts. My final tip for you guys on how to encourage word of mouth marketing in your photography business doesn't have to do with clients at all. It has to do with wedding vendors. I started doing this a few seasons ago at some of my weddings and it has been amazing for me. Before the wedding, I make sure I find out who the planner or the coordinator is, and then I get their mailing address. I like to have all of this set up before the wedding day. Then after the wedding, I can pop a card in the mail, and once again, if you're at the beginning of your photography business, it can just be a handwritten card saying, thank you so much for your hard work. But as your business grows, you could include a little gift in there, you could include a gift card, and it's just a way of appreciating these planners. I've only spent about $20 to $40 on gifts for planners, and I found that it's something that honestly people aren't really doing in the industry and definitely stands out because planners work with a ton of photographers, so having something land on their desk in the week after the wedding can be amazing for keeping you top of mind when they're in conversations with their clients who are looking for photographers. You might pop to the top of their head and they'll share your name and not the other photographer. So I hope these tips helped you. Once again, be sure to download my 50 plus ideas for marketing your business at jamiedelainewatson.com slash 50 ideas. I wanna thank Sarissa for doing this collaboration with me. You definitely wanna check out her video on her channel and subscribe to both of us. So thank you so much for being here. Until next week.